I love the opportunity to reflect and to connect in a, deep, in a deeper way to myself, my, my true being, my feelings, my emotions, and also to become aware of uh, more what is happening in the world, to be in community. So I am grateful for the service. Today we had the blessing of beautiful, beautiful voices. Everything all together is a heaven for people. It is for myself, for sure. It's a place I value silence and I value inspiration and I get that here. I think the music that, that you sing here is, is very open-minded. There's no strict dogma, there's no belief. It's a very open-minded community and that's what I like about coming here. It's relatively new coming to church but I, I do get a lot from it. And I think it's great to feel that sense of community, that there's like-minded people, and people who care about you as well, which in a big city can be very, very important to know that. I mean, I used to go to church when I was younger, but fell away from that because there was a lot that I didn't like about sort of organized religion and, you know, the mainstream religion. So this suits me on that level as well, that it's more questioning than that. People come with all sorts of ideas and belief systems and there's a place for that and there's no particular dogma that you have to follow. So I like that, open questioning, really. We really love the community here. It's, it's beautiful and Sarah's like the best in terms of liberal spirituality, I suppose. Everything's welcome, like every, you know, she, she references all types of religions in a service and just allows you to think beyond a particular structure of religious values and beliefs, which I think is yeah, wonderful. And we're gonna, um, we've just asked to do a welcoming ceremony for the little one, for Archie. <laughs> so, so she's gonna organize that, which is great. Yeah. I, I like uh, the surface because we get chocolate biscuits. Yeah, he comes <laughs> for the biscuits. If I believe in anything, I believe in love. And I feel that here and I always get something out of it and there's always something. That's what I think the essence of all real religion should be. So we travel quite a long way and we make a real effort to come because it's just like that lovely regular thing each week that you can rely on and you can rely on to make you feel better and you can just bring whatever's on your heart and I just always feel better. After I've been here a few weeks uh, I was asked to do a reading um, and I have got quite a nice big loud voice but I wasn't feeling at all confident and it was just marvellous because the first time ever I felt people were rooting for me and if I made a mistake it wouldn't matter they'd still be listening and saying go on give it another try you're all right and that's been tremendous for me that's given me a huge amount of confidence that I've built on throughout my life now. I come away feeling like I've had a spiritual meal I feel satisfied and it lasts me for the rest of the week with a few top-ups in between. I came expecting to be whacked over the head with the Bible and I was gobsmacked and I've been coming ever since. And I love the building, I really love this building, it feels like a mosque. I just felt there was a church-shaped gap in my life but I didn't want to go back to a traditional Christian church, even a liberal one because there was too much that I just didn't believe. So I literally went on the internet and did a bit of browsing and I found this church and I thought they sounded nice and friendly and ordinary and um, didn't do odd things that would scare me away. And I came along, was given a very warm welcome and I've been coming ever since. What do I hope people get out of coming on a Sunday morning? Well, first and foremost, I think a sense of a community and a sense of a spiritual community I want this to be a safe space for people. I don't want it to be heavy. I, w I want it to be an uplifting experience for people coming to church. And of course, we've got all those essential values, freedom, love, tolerance. But of course, any religious organization worth its salt would, would offer you that, I hope. But I think what we do offer is 
the, the absolute essential nature of your own exploration. But there's no need to do that alone. The world's a lonely enough place anyway. Come to church on a Sunday and uh, I think you'll find companions on your pathway.